It's the finally Friday edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you're enjoying another beautiful day. We've uh, kind of dried things out recently after a wet spell during the first half of August. Uh, the last six or seven days, a lot of us have not seen any measurable precipitation. And just in time for the Canfield Fair, we've had a couple of really good days yesterday. And today, uh, we're heading into the 2 o'clock hour as I record this. And uh, the 1 o'clock hour temperature was uh, 73 in Youngstown, I believe that was the 1 o'clock temperature. I don't think it's changed. Uh, actually, I stand corrected. That is the fresh 2 p.m. temperature, 73 in Youngstown. And uh, we're approaching 80 in central Ohio this afternoon. And, and here around the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys, we'll tack on a few more degrees, generally topping out probably around 76, maybe 77 by the end of the day. So warmer than yesterday, but still just a hair below average. On the uh, surface map today, high pressure is centered up over New England. It's right up here. That high pressure zone is generally shifting south and east. As it does so, the wind direction is going to start to change, and uh, that's going to spell some changes for us. Let me bring up the uh, dew points here and uh, take off the radar and satellite for a second to make this a little less busy. Uh, as the wind switches around, a warm front's going to head our way. That front is right out, about right here right now. South of the front, you can see those dew points are very soupy up in the upper 60s, lower 70s. North of the front, we're still in the very, very dry, comfortable air here. It's really uh, quite a quite an impressive looking front, all things considered. Uh, easy to pick out on the map. You know, the, the moisture is pooling around that front and it's going to be on the move. And uh, tomorrow at this time, it's going to feel a whole lot different. I can promise you that. So uh, enjoy this relative break from the heat and humidity while we have it. Uh, we're looking at showers and thunderstorms out here across the Midwest, uh, just west of the Mississippi Valley. This uh, setup today is a low pressure system here. Here's our warm front and then a cold front back here like this. And this whole system is coming east. So we're going to get into the warm sector tomorrow, stray thunderstorm tomorrow. That should about do it. Uh, better chance to get wet as this cold front then marches east. It weakens as it does so, but I do think that Sunday, while not a complete washout, is going to feature at least a few hours worth of rain uh, across the valley, maybe some thunder mixed in as well. So if you have outdoor plans, including heading to the fair, you're in great shape today. If you hydrate yourself, you're going to be in fine shape tomorrow as well. vast majority of us will not get wet, but then Sunday, a little bit of a different story, and uh, I'll break that uh, down for you in just a second. In the meantime, it was, of course, a pretty chilly morning this morning. I had 46 degrees at my house in Boardman and a lot of mid-40s out there this morning to start the day. Real refreshing start. Uh, no records were set here, but, uh, you know, this is, of course, below average for the end of August. Uh, average lows now are in the, in the 50s, and 46, 47 degrees, that's a little more like mid to late September rather than uh, than late August. Well, you can uh, visualize here uh, as we go out through time, the increase in the dew points across eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. Let me, uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to make sure I'm not covering this up with my head. we got the dry air mass around now, and as we head through the, uh, the night tonight, let's skip ahead to tonight, we're still in the comfortable zone. Dew points down in the 50s here overnight tonight. But notice southwest Ohio, the, the warm front has passed. Dew points are rising. And watch the dew points rise here tomorrow. Daybreak, still not very humid, but then midday and afternoon, the warm front comes blasting through. And here at noon, the dew point could already be up in the upper 60s to around 70. So dew points tomorrow may start even in the upper 50s, but by lunchtime, yikes, it's going to start to feel really muggy. And uh, it's going to... Uh, stay very muggy through the rest of the day tomorrow. So a dramatic rise in our dew points with the arrival of that warm front around lunchtime on Saturday. Again, it's not going to be accompanied by much precipitation at all. This is tomorrow afternoon on the GFS model. It tries to pop up a stray storm, especially over the Appalachian Mountains out to our east. You know, this is a 10 at worst 20% chance for us tomorrow. Uh, just, you know, kind of one of those things that we're going to mention just as an outside, outside chance. But uh, again, for the majority of us, we don't have to worry about rain tomorrow. It's just the heat. With heat index values tomorrow up around 90, maybe 91, if you're going to be exerting yourself outdoors, not just you know sitting around, but doing work, uh, sweating, uh, exerting yourself, stay hydrated. It's one of those days that you can get real sneaky on you, uh, how uh, dehydrated your body is going to become in that kind of heat and humidity. As we skip ahead to Saturday night, this is the wee hours of Saturday night into Sunday morning. Here's our low. Warm fronts up here, and that cold front I drew earlier is marching into Ohio. And I think this will be after sunset Saturday night, so everything's fine at the fair Saturday evening. But then after sunset, and especially after midnight Saturday night, uh, showers, maybe some thunderstorms pushing in. This is just the GFS model I'm showing you here, but it does kind of hint 
that the wettest part of Sunday may be the morning hours. This is 8 in, eight in the morning. This is showing all the precipitation predicted in the six-hour period before 8 o'clock. So in other words, 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. And then here's 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Notice it doesn't bring as much in. And then here's 2 p.m. to 8 p.m., maybe a couple of additional showers and storms. This is just the GFS. Uh, uh, we're waiting for the, the, the European model, the Canadian, Canadian model to come in and uh, shed some light on Sunday. You know, overall, yes, wetter of the two weekend days. Is it a total washout? No. And if the GFS model at least has the right idea, the most numerous showers and storms would be in the morning. Not to say the afternoon would be dry, but at least maybe not as numerous uh, showers around in the afternoon as opposed to the morning. All right, our front limps through then uh, Sunday night into Monday. And Labor Day itself looking pretty tranquil. It's going to turn pretty warm again. And maybe there's a stray shower or a thunderstorm on Labor Day, but, uh, boy, it's going to be real stray. This may be another one of those 20% kind of deals. So if you have the day off, I think you're doing fine. It's just going to be warm and humid. And then on Tuesday, our chances of, of rain and storms increase once again as another front heads our way. A somewhat stronger front, it comes through then it looks like Tuesday night. And in the wake of that front, a decent drop in the humidity, at least for one day on Wednesday. It may not last long, though, as the wind's going to shift around to the southwest again at the end of next week, sending temperatures off to the races again. Maybe not 90 at the end of next week, but we should be well into the 80s and a fair amount of humidity in the air as well. So we're really heading into a, a summertime pattern here as we head into September. Check out my weather blog from this morning, ericwfmj.com. You can also find the link to it on my Facebook and Twitter pages. I, I did a quick blog post this morning detailing what we can expect at least during the first half of September with some speculation on what the month as a whole may bring in terms of temperature and uh, precipitation. All right, that's Friday's weather for Weather Geeks. I'll be at the Canfield Fair on Saturday with uh, Bob, Leslie, and Dana from 10 to 2. Our tent is right under the grandstand, so check us out there. And if you miss us on Saturday, you can check out uh, our team, Bob, Leslie, Dana, myself, from 2 to 6 on Sunday. Love to meet some of you who I haven't had the chance to meet yet. Uh, come by, get a picture, uh, get an autograph if you'd like. Uh, and uh, the others, uh, the morning crew, including Mike and Jess and Jasmine and all of those, uh, they'll be there on the opposite shift from us. So they'll be there uh, from from 2 to 6 Saturday and 10 to 2 on Sunday. So we've got you covered at the Canfield Fair. Come by and chat weather with me if you want, and uh, feel free to complain about the heat on Saturday. I'll be complaining. I know that. All right, I'll see you then, and uh, be sure to check out my forecast tonight, as always, on 21 News at 6 and 11.